F-35 Lightning II is known for its stealthy profile. But there's another side to it in which it can pack more weapons and is popularly known as Beast Mode. In this mode, the F-35 can carry up to four times payload when compared to its normal mode. This mode makes the F-35 a completely different adversary to deal with for a rival and could be used in certain scenarios. Beast Mode will add a lot of tactical flexibility to the nations which are deploying the F-35s. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes F-35 capabilities in Beast Mode. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus which will grant you a free premium tank or aircraft and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. The Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II, which is a single-seat, single-engine, all-weather stealth multi-role fighter, is undergoing final development and testing by the United States. The Pentagon began the F-35 program in 2001 with an aim to develop a cost-effective replacement for the U.S. military's F-15 fighters, F-16 and F-18 fighter bombers and reconnaissance aircraft, and A-10 close-in support warplanes. The F-35 has three main models. The conventional takeoff and landing F-35A CTOL, the short takeoff and vertical landing F-35B STOVL, and the catapult-assisted takeoff but arrested recovery carrier-based F-35C CATOBAR. Apart from the United States, the primary customer and financial backer, the United Kingdom, Italy, the Netherlands, Canada, Turkey, Australia, Norway and Denmark are also part of the program. Many other nations like Japan and Israel are also deploying the fighters. The nine major partner nations, including the US, plan to acquire over 2,000 F-35s through 2035, which, if delivered, will make the F-35 one of the most numerous jet fighters. On the 2nd of August 2016, the U.S. Air Force declared its first squadron of F-35A fighters combat ready. The fighter aircraft is expected to remain in service until 2050. F-35 being a fifth generation fighter is developed from the ground up to be stealthy. Its external structure is designed to deflect signals away from the emitting radar which makes it hard to detect or track. This is done by having no sharp edges or protruding elements and having a smooth external curvature. Also, it has a coating of RAM radar absorbing material that reduces the number of signals getting reflected. Classified techniques have been used to reduce the heat signature of F-35. This thermal profile management of the jet makes it difficult for infrared IR, homing missiles to target it. F-35 has the lowest cross radar section RCS, of all the jets except the F-22 Raptor. Against X-band radars, it's stealthy from the front and rear. Against S-band radars, it's stealthy from the narrow front aspect. Against L-band radar, the limited reduction is achieved from direct front. It is a very low observable LO platform in reality unlike some of its so-called competitors. For example, Chinese Chengdu J-20 got exposed last year. Indian pilots on Russian-made Su-30 MKIs from Indian airspace managed to detect and track the new Chinese jets when they were conducting flight training over Tibet. The disclosure didn't come from any independent analysts but from an official source. 
Indian Air Force commander Arup Shaha said the Sukhoi's radars can see them the new Chinese jets are not so invisible after all no special technology is required to detect the J-20 as it can be detected by ordinary radar stations this has ignited debates that the J-20 is nothing more than a decorated 4 plus plus generation fighter Importantly in stealth configuration or mode weapons are carried internally F-35s in stealth mode will be useful when it's deployed in the initial days of the campaign to penetrate enemy territory that fourth generation fighters will find difficult to handle It will neutralize air as well as ground threats and provide critical intelligence Essentially in stealth mode it will be used to gain air dominance but once this is achieved F-35 can be deployed in beast mode well it will carry weapons in external hardpoints too in stealth mode the f-35s can carry 5,700 pounds of ordnance but when it converts to beast mode it will be able to carry up to 22,000 pounds of payload internal and external weapons combined The 22,000 pounds capacity will mean in beast mode F-35 will be able to carry 14 AIM-120 missiles and two AIM-9X missiles for air-to-air -air mission or six GBU-31s and four AIM-120s 9Xs for ground missions Let's check each of these weapons number one AIM-9X the AIM-9 Sidewinder is a family of short-range air-to-air missiles carried on a wide range of modern tactical aircraft in the US military and uses an infrared seeker to home in on the heat source of its target It entered service with the US Navy in 1956 and subsequently was adopted by the US Air Force in 1964 AIM-9X is the fifth generation Sidewinder and features a high off boresight focal plane array seeker mounted on a highly maneuverable airframe with a greatly improved infrared counter countermeasures capability. It has a range of 22 miles or 35.4 kilometers and has a speed of Mach 2.5. Number 2 AIM 120D The AIM 120D is the latest development of the AMRAAM missile family designed and built by Raytheon the aim 120 AMRAAM is a family of medium-range air-to-air missiles designed to meet the requirements of the United States and several allied nations the aim 120 missile is faster smaller and lighter than its predecessor the aim 7 Sparrow medium-range missile aim 120 D includes several new enhancements for improved performance this includes a two-way data link superior navigation through GPS enhanced inertial measurement unit much larger no escape zone and improved high angle off boresight capability apart from an increase in range by 50 percent aim 120 D has much more accurate guidance over its whole flight envelope which improves the kill probability it also has improved kinematics and GPS inertial measurement unit for better performance AIM 120D's range is thought to be more than 167 kilometers or 105 miles. Number 3 GBU 31. It's a smart bomb. It can be launched from a range of around 15 nautical miles or 28 kilometers. Guided by GPS or INS, it can precisely hit the target. It can be equipped with a 2,000 pound or 900 kilogram warhead of different variant. The US military will be looking to phase out its fourth generation fighter jets slowly But these fighters like f-16 and f-18 could carry a lot of weapons through their external hardpoints Which f-35 can't when operating in stealth mode? But with beast mode this gap is taken care of It's important to note that though it will lose the stealth edge in this mode F-35s will still be better than any fourth generation fighter when it comes to many aspects like situational awareness 
thanks to its sensor fusion capability. F-35 is a multi-role fighter, and with beast mode, it will be able to adapt seamlessly as per the requirements of the battle situation. As the F-35 program is maturing, new sides of the fighter are being revealed. For example, going forward, F-35 will also carry a cannon for close-range dogfights. This is exactly what was envisaged by the Pentagon when it initiated the F-35 program, and it seems things are in the correct track. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.